What would day-to-day -day life be like in a really hardcore FEMA camp? Torture. Having your meals restricted. Spending days or even weeks in restrained, painful positions. Uh, spending days hanging from the ceiling uh, by your wrist or hanging from the ceiling uh, by your feet. This is the type of stress position torture that they carry out against people that completely destroys uh, even the strongest men's minds. This was used against our troops uh, in Korea and of course in Vietnam and those very systems of torture have been adopted. In fact the White House memos admit they adopted uh, many of the torture techniques used during the Inquisition against supposed heretics. And so uh, all the classic forms of terror, uh, all the classic forms of torture, uh, waterboarding, simulated drowning, sleep deprivation, uh, being hung by your ankles, being hung by your wrist for weeks, for, for being hung by your wrist or ankles for days or even weeks. And what these camps are really for is about creating informants, grabbing prominent people, pastors, uh, radio talk show hosts, authors, people that could resist the criminal government takeover. This is what it's always been about in history, is grabbing prominent people, taking them into camps. Usually it's enough to let them see other people being tortured or other people being killed or other people being starved to death. And then after a few months of that, they're ready to be released and they'll do whatever they're told for the rest of their lives and be a good servant. And so that talk show host or that uh, pastor or that author or that politician can then go back out after being re-educated and uh, with fervor lead the people uh, that once followed them to accept tyranny. So FEMA camps, torture camps, the really hardcore ones are about breaking people. And they're about grabbing people that are prominent in the community, bringing them in and quote re-educating them. The Nazis did this, the Soviets did this, Pol Pot did this, the ancient Romans would do this. A lot of times they'd grab a political leader of say a rival tribe in an area they were taking over and they would keep him in a dungeon, torture him for a few years and then release him and he'd be a broken man. He would do what he was told to do. So the FEMA camps are about torture and they're about breaking people. They're about getting false confessions. It's all about torturing people so they'll come out and accuse other innocent people that the establishment wants to arrest with committing crimes and engaging in terrorism. And so really it's about getting people to bear false witness and grabbing prominent people in the community, authors, talk show hosts, uh, pastors, politicians, rival politicians, rival business owners, and bringing them in, scaring them, torturing them. Sometimes it's enough to just let them be held for a year or so and be deprived of food and sleep and uh, you know just mistreated. But sometimes being tortured, being hung by your ankles or hung by your wrists for days or even weeks, uh, being waterboarded, being electrocuted, uh, you know, you know, uh, being shocked well, with electricity into submission. These are all the things that the federal government has now trained large cadres of uh, medical doctors, psychiatrists, uh, and jail guards uh, to do. And it's all about getting people to bear false witness, to go out and lie, and to accuse other people, once they've been released from the FEMA camp, of being part of the conspiracy. And then that adds to the mass psychosis as everybody starts ratting on their neighbors to prove that they're loyal, to prove that they can be trusted. This is a classic system that tyrants have used for thousands and thousands of years that has now been brought to a high art form by the Pentagon and the New World Order. Do you think that they're trying to 